What's up everyone? So today I wanted to do a quick talk about pregnancy safe workouts or exercising while pregnant. So we've of course been getting a lot of questions and suggestions on doing more pregnancy safe workouts. And the truth is a lot of the workouts that we have on the channel already are actually pregnancy safe. So just because it doesn't say pregnancy friendly in the title doesn't mean that you can't do these workouts while pregnant. So I just wanted to do a quick video on helping you to decipher on what exercises that you can do or what workouts you can do. And if there's a workout that you enjoy, maybe there might be some modifications. So how to go through those as well. So very first, when it comes to working out, you wanna make sure that you have clearance from your doctor. And I know this sounds cliche, but it is very important because you might have specific conditions or complications where you might be able to do some exercises, but they may want you to refrain from other exercises. So overall, you'll hear what you've been doing before you can do during pregnancy. And while that may be true, there may be a few things that your doctor may want you to refrain from for various different reasons throughout your pregnancy. So always talk to your doctor before you begin a new exercise program while pregnant. So next, like I mentioned before, what you've been doing pre-pregnancy, usually you'll be able to continue safely throughout your pregnancy, but as you journey throughout that pregnancy and you get into the different stages, there will be some modifications that come along. So a few of those modifications are things like once you get further along into your second trimester, it may be really uncomfortable and unsafe for you to lay flat on your back for long periods of time. So let's say an exercise, like for example, a uh, floor chest press, you're flat on your back, you're doing a chest press, you can still do a chest press, but you can just elevate your shoulders and your neck, or if you have a bench or even a chair like this, you can put your upper body up on the bench, have your feet and lower body off, and you can still do that chest press. So this would be a good example where just because a workout has a chest press or a floor chest press in it, doesn't mean that you can't do this workout. Another example of modifications could be very specific to your pregnancy. So let's say, for example, you're having some hip flexor pain or some pelvic pain and it hurts to do a split lunge or a reverse lunge. This might be where you just need a different lower body exercise. So a squat might feel okay, but that lunge might not feel okay. Take out the lunge and put in the squat or a different lower body exercise that feels good to you. As I mentioned before, we have a lot of workouts on the channel that are already pregnancy safe or pregnancy friendly, specifically a lot of our strength training workouts. So most of the strength training exercises, especially those foundational exercises, squats, deadlifts, presses, rows, you're able to do safely throughout your entire stages of pregnancy. So a lot of these workouts you can still do even though they don't say pregnancy safe on them. If it comes time to where there are some exercises you need to modify, don't be afraid to just swap those out to something that does work for you at your stage of pregnancy. So like I mentioned, if it's a lower body exercise that doesn't feel good, swap in one that does. If it's a sit up and that doesn't feel good, put in a modified core exercise. You could do a quadruped plank, you can go into to a side plank, just swap it out for a different core exercise. So all of this to say, you don't need to limit yourself to just workouts that say pregnancy safe. If you understand the modifications that your body may need, you're really okay to do a lot of the workouts that you've been doing and just throw in those swaps where needed. So one thing that we definitely want to do though is to put out more pregnancy safe and pregnancy specific workouts just to teach you some of those movements that are okay to do. You may still be nervous to do workouts that you haven't done before. So we will definitely be putting out more pregnancy specific workouts and putting out more knowledge and education around that as well. So if there are specific topics that you think would be helpful, especially for pregnant women throughout their journey, make sure you drop those in the comments and we will make sure to get out as much 
information as we can. And also I will put some of the workouts that we already have on the channel in the description. Um, and if those workouts need modifications, I'll list those as well. So that way you can go check out some of those workouts already and you're not just waiting for workouts that specifically say pregnancy safe. So working out throughout your pregnancy is extremely important, not just to help you now while you're pregnant, but also it's very vital to your recovery as well. So we wanna be able to spread as much information and education as we can to make you feel comfortable and safe while working out throughout your pregnancy journey. And while this is my first pregnancy, so it's my first time going through this journey, I already have my pre-postnatal certification, but I am currently doing a more in-depth pre-postnatal certification just because it's something that I want to learn more for myself, but to be able to help me to feel more educated and learn as much as I can to be able to spread that information to all of you as well. And if you do have any specific questions, you can always message me one-on-one one on the Juice and Toya app. If you don't already have the app, we'll drop that link in the description and your first week is free. But I've already been getting lots of questions in the app. Sometimes it just helps to talk to someone who's going through it or someone that you feel comfortable um, sharing information with. So I'm always available one-on-one -on -one for any questions in the Juice and Toya app as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick video. And like I mentioned before, leave any comments on more topics that you would like to see. And if you're not already, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, especially if you're here to see more pregnancy related content. As always, thank you all for joining me today and we will see you all at the next one. Bye.